Rick Tockett is at it again in the media and holding the team accountable after a rocky start to the season, as well as addressing lineup changes ahead of Tuesday's game versus Tampa. And we have an update on Tyler Myers that is going to be music to Canucks fans' ears as the team seemingly dodged a bullet with his injury. We're going to be breaking down all of that in this episode of Canucks Digest, but first make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you don't miss any and all updates surrounding the Canucks as we head into our first road trip of the season. And with that, let's hop into the first topic of the day, which is Tockett's TED Talk. So when speaking to the media after practice, the other day, Talkett was talking about getting back on track after losing two winnable games. He said, maybe a little bit of success last year and you come in a bit lazier. I don't know. I'm not pointing fingers at the players, but they were both winnable games. We have to get back to our staples really quick. We've got to start going through people and I don't think we're battling as hard as we should. It is early, but we've got to get to it. This is coming off of two games where Calgary is in a very bad state right now. They're sl- they're slightly rebuilding as well as Philly. They're both teams that aren't going to be cup contenders this year. I know Calgary came off of a hot start, it seems like, this season. But again, these are teams that maybe they're not going to withstand the test of the season like the Canucks hopefully will. And again, these are games that, yes, we came away with two points, but those could have been four-point swings where Vancouver could have been 2-0 and with four points and in a very good position going on this road trip. And when talking about this year versus last year, Talkett was saying that for me, it's simple things. It's our line changes, and I don't like them this year. Guys are overextending and staying out there for 50 seconds. We're doing the stuff that we didn't do last year for the majority of the time. So yes, this is a team where there's going to be a little bit of growing pains. We have a lot of new additions as well as some guys that we're going to see play a bit better as the season goes on but it's going to take some time for it to happen if it's happening early on in the season versus later on in the season I'm okay with it I would rather it happen early on when you're trying to find your footing rather than after the all-star break or heading into the playoffs when suddenly the momentum slows down and this Canucks team it's a bit different than last year we started off very hot and then kind of fizzled out into the playoffs and then we just caught a little bit of momentum in the first and second round and then it died out in that second round against Edmonton towards the end of it So Vancouver was able to find a little bit more gas in the tank. But if this is a season where Vancouver starts out slow and then we just pick it up mid-season like Edmonton did last year, I know mentioning the Coilers isn't something that we like to do. But what they did last year as far as going on that 16-game tear when they were just counted out by everybody, if Vancouver is one of those teams where people are already counting us out heading into this year and they're counting us out mid-season, that's just all the more reason why we can prove them wrong. I know people will say, like, why would you want to just lose games? We're not trying to lose games. But if it's one of those cases where we had them in the first half and then we get them in the second half, we got it. We're going to be set. It's going to be nice. I think Vancouver will be in a nice position if they find it, especially on this road trip. When speaking on the road trip, talk, it says, I think a lot of guys like going on the road, especially when you're at camp, home with camp and stuff. I think it's good time for the guys to bond. Plus, we're a good road team last year, so we've got that identity. So it's good to come on the road, and I want us to play to that identity. So this road trip is going to be a big one. We, he mentioned last year how we were a great team on the road. And this season is going to hopefully be no different. If this is a time where, yes, we have two points yet with two losses, that's something that is shocking to start the year. But if we can come into this road game, we steal maybe three of these games, that's going to be awesome heading back home against Pittsburgh. Tampa is going to be a tough one. We're going to see Jake Gensel when we tried to get him in the offseason. We're going to see him play against us. Then we also have the defending Stanley Cup champions in the Florida Panthers. Then we got a revenge game against Philly that we're hopefully just going to smash them to pieces. And we get that revenge. They beat us on our home ice. Let's go beat them on theirs. And then the next night, we do, or a few nights later, we do go to Chicago to play against Connor Bedard and those Blackhawks as well. So it's going to be nice to see Bedard play. I know everyone likes to watch him play because he is one of those young prospects, or not not prospects, but he is one of those young superstars, I should say. And he is going to be one of those guys that is going to be one to watch in the future. But hopefully that future coming out party is going to have to wait one more game when the Canucks play him. So hopefully if we can come out of this game, if we beat Tampa, maybe we lose to Florida, we beat Philly, then we beat Chicago. Going on the road and having only one, being at an even 500 record against Pittsburgh, I think that bodes well with heading back home. And again, like Talkett said, the road trip is a good time for teams to bond. It's a good team for teams to come together. So if they can come together on this and these new guys start meshing well with our Vancouver Canucks guys, I think that's going to be very good for the team. I know it was this rocky start at home. You don't want to lose home games, but if this is a case where Vancouver plays very well on the road and we just get back on it, At least we only lost two games and then we just start out firing on all cylinders. And I think a good key to that is going to be when we look at the lines 
for tonight's projected lineup from the practice lines. You had Besser, Miller, and Baines on that first one. Then you had Heinen, Petey, and DeBrusque on the second one. Hoaglander, Ratu, and Garland. And then you had Sherwood, Bluger, and Suger with Sprong being the extra forward. So this is going to be an interesting thing to watch heading into this game. It's going to be interesting to see what they do as far as the lines. And I know the one that everyone is looking at is Arshdeep Baines. And when Talkit was talking about it, he says, it's early in the season. You want to try different things. I want to get Baines in the lineup. I don't want to see him sit. Young guys shouldn't sit that long and he deserves to play tonight. He's a good four checker. I think Millsy loves that. Get, uh, get in on the four check and help him out. He's a guy that we have our eye on. He's going to push for jobs and hopefully he can be consistent. And of course, this is early on in the season where this is the perfect time for the Canucks to try things in the lineup. We mentioned in our past videos leading up to this season how with these prospects and this loaded lineup that the Canucks have as far as their top six forwards, it's going to be harder for these prospects to get in. But again, with the start that Vancouver's had, this is a time for those prospects to get that opportunity and get the gameplay that they need because it's early on in the season, so it's not going to be a massive casualty. And maybe this jumpstarts something with the team. Maybe Baines goes out and he gets a key assist on a Miller goal or he scores himself. It's going to be interesting to see what he does in his first game of the season. I'm definitely going to be watching very closely to see what he does. I know a lot of fans are going to be. We know a lot of fans are very polarized on how they stand with Baines, but his production is there. His production was there in Abbotsford, and his production was there in the preseason this year. He's been playing his butt off, and he's worked his butt off to get to this opportunity continuously for the past few seasons, and I think this is going to be a continuation of that. But what do you guys think about the possibility of Baines playing tonight? Do you think it's very likely? What do you guys think down below? But that's going to take us into our second topic of the day, which is Tyler Myers is back. So we saw him skating at practice in Tampa, in uniform so it looks like he might be ready to go and talk it as well speaking to the media he said he actually felt pretty good I mean there's still a little bit of stuff there but we're very fortunate we dodged a bullet to see him out there skating after last game I think it was an initial shock but he feels pretty good I think it's more of a pain tolerance and I think he's starting to feel better there was no structure problems and that was huge we all saw the hit we all saw how scary that thing looked I was on here saying that maybe we're looking at an ACL injury Thankfully, I was wrong. It was one of those cases where I am very happy to be wrong. And I've said it before where if I'm being negative on a take, I would rather be proven wrong than proven right. And this was very much one of those things where I was just hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst and the worst case being ACL when anyone who saw that would think, okay, he's done for the year, but now he's back out on the practice squad or back out on the practice sheet and he's doing well. And he seems to be ready to go just a few game, few days after just one game later, only going on to the road trip as well. So he made the travel to Tampa. So he's been able to travel with the team, been able to practice. It seems like it's going to be going well for him playing tonight but it is going to be a game time decision I'm going to be happy to see him back on the ice I know a lot of people are going to be happy because we saw how much this defensive course suffered without him who would have thought that Tyler Myers would be such a key piece of this team as far as a defensive standpoint when Quinn Hughes and Philip Peronic can't be skating out there all the time they need to get some rest and Tyler Myers provides that perfect rest and being that shutdown defender we're definitely going to need him tonight against Tampa's front loaded team with all their additions that they made in the offseason with how strong they are just in general it's going to be tough to go against but I think if we get the win tonight it sets the tone for a great road trip ahead and getting a game. And if we go into Florida coming off of a win, that's going to be a lot better than coming off of a loss. We're going to be playing a lot more different hockey. So hopefully we're able to come away with the W tonight and head into Florida with another with our first win of the season so that we can go and upset the defending Stanley Cup champions. But what do you guys think down below? What do you guys think will be the final score of the game tonight versus Tampa? We'd love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. But that's going to take us to our final topic of the day, which is everyone's favorite topic, and that is comment of of the day and we see here from max ray saying i appreciate your effort in uh, in getting out an informative product with sound observations and as our fans uh, as fans of our great team keep up the great work and you deserve the success you've had so far like the end says like and share all we appreciate all the love that we get from you guys coming from all across Canada, all across North America, even into Europe and all the way to Australia. We've been reaching all over the globe and we love to see the outreach that we've get and all the support. It's been awesome to interact with fans just off camera as well with just messages online and just seeing what you guys think about the Canucks, hearing your takes on the Canucks, hearing your stories as far as why you're a Canucks fan. It's amazing to see and that's why we love this sport of hockey. It just brings communities together from all across the globe and that is why we love this game and that is why we love this team because we have fans all over the world it's not just hockey fans but it's also Canucks fans and that's the most important part 
But that's going to do it for this episode of Canucks Digest. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. It's going to be a fun road trip. Can't wait to bring you guys more updates as it goes on. We also have some prospect videos coming up because there's been a lot developing there in the AHL and in the OHL as well. So stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Take care.